In this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the new Mark's Tree from the John Next Door Christmas 2021 collection. It comes with the beautiful tree and the frame. For this demonstration, we're just going to use the tree. So I make quite a simple card, but really, really effective. And you could take it in lots and lots of different directions. So what I've got here is I've got all the pieces cut together and I've taken a piece. This is just simply four and a half inches by six and a half inches, which fits the tree perfectly. And all we need to do for this, first of all, on this first layer is to cut the tree and you see it fits in that perfectly. So we just want to do that nice and in the center. I'm just going to take this down. And again, this will fit through your Kaleido or any of your A5 die cutting machines. I'm going to bring my Kaleido in. Um, so you don't have to have an A4 machine to use any of this year's die collections. Although with the frame, it can be a little bit helpful. So I'm just going to run that through and cut it. And we've cut that in the white. And what we want to do is we just want to carefully remove this. Now, you can see here, it's not quite cut. So it's always worth turning a die over and checking it. I'll just run that section back through. And if you'll notice what we've done on this white one is I haven't put a shim or anything in, even though it's quite a detailed die. That's because I want the stars from this. So we're going to take out the aperture. This is going to be our front piece. And we want the stars. So what I tend to do is to take, this is vintage gold satin card. I'm going to be using this for the back, but this is an easier way to do this. And what I want to do is just ease the tree out from the die. And I want to keep each star. So I'm just gonna pop each star out onto this piece of card. And by doing it this way, it just makes it that little bit easier than actually popping all of the bits out. So we'll just get each of these stars out. I'm trying to avoid taking too many of the other pieces out because that's the piece that I'm going to sort of paper piece. So we take the rest out of that and use that for another card or project. But here I've got all of the stars. So we're gonna pop that to one side. I just need to clean out the die in case there's any pieces stuck. And then we're going to use a piece of gold mirror card again. This is the vintage gold from the Craft Artist range. And we're going to pop that down and do the same again. I've cut this to six and a half by four and a half. And I'm going to put this in the middle because of course what you can do is you can make this now, you can drop the white into this gold. So when you make the card, you can actually make two at the same time. So we're gonna pop that on. And what I'm going to do this time is I want this to cut and I want this to nicely bevel. So I'm going to use the metal shim because it's a detailed die. And we're just going to run it through a couple of times to make sure we get a nice crisp cut. It's quite a long die. So I'm going to go all the way and come back out. And again, we turn it over onto its back just make sure everything's cut through, which it is. Because I used the shim this time, you'll see that that piece comes out. Let me take that out. Um, I would keep the little bits to do the next one, but for the video, I'm just gonna take them out. You can see here, we'll move this to one side. As I pop all of the pieces out, they fall out beautifully. And of course, what I've got now is a really nice, sort of beveled edge to it because it's been well cut it doesn't need embossing but it gives it that sort of turned corner on the mirror card it works beautifully on any of the satin or the gloss cards this die and great for making your quick Christmas cards so if you're wanting to make something very very quickly you can just cut this out stick it on a piece of plain or patterned paper and off you go so making sure all of those are out. What we're going to need to do now is I'm going to use spray glue. So I've got the white piece and I've got the tree. I'm simply going to give those a spray with spray glue. And then we're going to take the white piece and I've cut a piece of acetate 
to just short on six and a half by four and a half, just so I can put that down. And if there are any edges showing through, simply take your scissors and trim those out. I think we're pretty much neat on that one. So just take those out. So now I've got that stud. And I can simply then take the tree. Again, just checking. I noticed that there were a couple more places where pieces had stuck in. I'm going to drop that into the off cut. And it's been designed so it's quite stable. So don't worry, you're not having to manipulate it in. There we go. So that fits in beautifully. Next, I'm going to use the Glue Glaze by Craft Artist. Again, you could use a really fine glue applicator. And you just want to pop a little bit of glue into each of the open stars. And I'm going to do them one at a time. And then I've got one of the dual pickup tools. And I'm going to pick up each star in white and drop them into position which actually is a lot easier than it looks. Although you feel like it takes, sometimes you look at it and think, oh, that's, that's quite daunting, that takes a while. But it's actually very quick to do because all we're actually paper piecing are the white stars. So this one has a little bit clipped off him. So let's just glue the others. It's just a case of spotting where each one comes from. You could pop them out as and when you use them. But I've always found it's easier just to take them out as they are. So this one pops in there. There we go. Just making sure each one is turned over to the front. There is a distinct front and back to these and you'll spot it. As soon as you start dropping them in, you'll see which is the front and which is the back. So I reckon that one's going in there. There we go. Little stars to go in here. One. Just turn that one over. Two. And I've got one more at the bottom, just here. A little bit again of the glue glaze. And we'll drop that star in. So we have this beautiful gold tree with the white stars in there. Very, very simple card. You could turn this into a shaker card um, by adding sort of glitters or micro beads or the pollen. The Christmas pollen would look beautiful in here. Um, so I'm just going to add a simple layer of foam tape on just to give a little bit of difference. And so that the tree looks as if it's floating. You could flat mount it, but with using the acetate, it just adds that little bit extra. And don't worry, although you're going to cross over the design, it's somewhere it's covered on the front. So it doesn't make a difference. There we go. And again, I tend to just put a little bit of support in these more open areas. We'll take our foam tape off. I'm using, it's a 10 millimeter wide, two millimeter deep foam tape that I use, which adds that depth and dimension, but doesn't make the card too thick for posting. And then we've got here a piece to the same size cut in the satin. So we just pop that on so that when we've got it done, there you can see, got that little bit of shadowing inside. Really, really simple. And for speed, I'm just going to add a couple of bits of foam tape. I would secure this a little bit more. And this is simply going on to a larger card blank. So this is a seven and a half by five and a half inch card blank. And I've put a seven by five layer of white and a seven and an eighth by five and an eighth layer of the gold on. Just to set it off. And we put that in the centre. And there we've got a very simple, quick Christmas card, which looks very, very expensive. Um, it does look as if it's foiled when you look at it like that. Done very quickly. Just the cutting and trimming to do. And of course, we've also got a white piece left and a gold piece left. Should we want to do the alternative and do white on gold? Mm -hmm. 